Hey, welcome back to Bears Grid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. This morning, I saw my son navigating a Kahoot on his iPad. Uh, and so the teacher was presenting a Kahoot. I think actually she was presenting it on her phone on Google Meet. And he was trying to do a split screen situation on his iPad. He managed to do it um, independently, actually. And I thought, hey, you know what? I wonder how many students are out there trying to do a Kahoot navigating on their iPad or their devices at home. And so I just wanted to do put this tutorial together, okay? So uh, here it is, look. Um, the teachers started this meeting, a Google uh, Google Meet meeting. It could be a Zoom meeting, whatever meeting. And the students logged in on the iPads as well. We're on the same meeting. Teacher's gone ahead and, you know, started a Kahoot. So we just, we'll do this one here, Journey of Shapes with Pocahontas. It's got two, 250,000 um, plays here, or 230,000 plays. So let's go ahead and play this one. Um, we'll teach. We're not going to assign it. We're going to teach it. So let this load up. We're going to do it classic, okay? And since we're doing it online, it's just easier just to do it as a classic. In fact, the easiest method would be to assign this. The Kahoot's started. Now what the teacher needs to do is go ahead and share screen. So she's going to go ahead and say present and maybe share a tab and click on the Kahoot. So here you can see on the iPad, you know, the teacher sharing this screen. Now, look, I don't know what to do now. I'm like, okay, I can see it. What do I do? So this is what the student's going to do now, yeah? So the teacher's presenting this Kahoot. You're going to hold down Safari and you just, you can choose what side you want to split screen it, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and split screen it over here. And then I need to, I need to go to Kahoot, yeah? All right, so I need to put the game code. Now, since it's split screen, I can actually see what the teacher's presenting, okay? When I'm split screening uh, Google Meet, the camera is active, it's still active. So my camera's still working, the teacher can still see me when I'm split screening. So here we go, I'm gonna put the game uh, pin here. Press enter. And then put my nickname. Here we are, we've popped in, the teacher can see me on the screen. And what's brilliant here now, as, as the teacher starts this, okay, so let's say t uh, everyone's here, teacher's gonna start, okay. I can see this, and uh, as well as the same time, on my Safari, I can obviously um, see what's coming up here. So I can read this description. With the Google Meet and the iPad, you can pinch and zoom as well. So I can actually pinch and zoom this. So if there was a diagram here, I could really pinch in and zoom, see the diagram. Okay, cool. Teachers just need to press the next. Let's see question two. So now I can see this. Hey, what side? It's the orange one or yellow. Click on that. Yeah, got my point. Okay, you can split screen. Like for example, on a computer, on a MacBook here, if I pull this down, I've separated the two thingies. And now if I go to uh, mission control here, I could drag this into this tab. And look, I've just created a split screen. I could be on my Google Meet and I could be on the Kahoot. Because now the teacher can do a split screen and actually continue to be on the Kahoot as well as see all the students participating here as well at the same time. If you found that helpful, then let me know by dropping a like and consider subscribing for more EdTech videos and I'll see you in the next one.